Hi, I'm Melanie from Nova Scotia, Canada, and this is Adventures in Groceryland. We have just finished week eight of our low spend pantry purge, and I feel like it was a, a huge success. We have cleared a lot of older items out of the freezer and the pantry. This is our final week of the pantry purge. I won't lie, I am very much looking forward to going grocery shopping and just buying some new items that I want, uh, not just kind of filling in the gaps to make meals from older things that I'm looking to use up. So definitely something for, for us to look forward to. Uh, we had um, a really interesting scene point hack this week that allowed us to stock up on some things that we really like. So you'll see that um, in the video and check out all of the meals that we had. Very exciting. Okay, you may think that I have totally gone off the rails and just bought a bunch of crazy stuff, but I didn't. $8.82, that's what you're looking at here, $8.82. I redeemed some points. So first thing, the chip dips from Sobeys were $2.99 each. I redeemed a thousand scene points to save $10, which brought them down to $1.96. And then the um, awesome thing is that I earned a thousand bonus points for buying the four chip dips. So my points will be replenished within a couple days. Then we had Atlantic Superstore. Um, so this whole Brainiac idea about the chip dip. Well, chips happened to be on sale this week for member uh, only for 99 cents. So I thought if I was getting some chip dips, I probably should get some chips. So 99 cents each. I got four bags of plain for dipping and I got two bags of flavored. I, I kind of have an idea um, or keeping in mind for Valentine's Day. Last year we did a big charcuterie board. We're not doing that. We are on a low spend. But I thought, okay, let's get some cold cuts so that we can have uh, meats on a little charcuterie tray. Buying from the deli is definitely the cheapest. It's $2.39 and this one is just regular salami. Oh, and it was 96 grams, so almost 100 grams. Two dollars and three cents for pepperoni, and this was 102 grams. And this was a specialty honey maple ham, and this was 100 grams, two dollars and 93 cents. And I am definitely pointing out the grams because the standard sizes when you're buying meats that are pre-packaged, uh, they are 100 grams or 125 or 150. So this is showing how reasonable I got these for. Grapes were on sale for $2.49. Those grapes actually worked out to $2 even. They had apples on sale for $4.99. So with a 50% off sticker, I got them for $2.50. And they had ice cream on for $3.33. So all of those items from the Superstore came to a total of $22. And then you can see here the loyalty. I redeemed uh, $20. So I only paid $2 even. So I just paid $2. Then I shopped at Walmart. Uh, I got these sugar snap peas that were marked down we really like these and i was kind of thinking charcuterie tray kind of had that in my mind and they had five packs of avocados on for two dollars and 47 cents i know this seems like it's a little crazy and there's definitely a lot of treats in here following the videos so if you've watched weeks one through seven you'll notice that we we don't have a lot of treats uh, unless i'm making snacks or making the treats myself so when these came on sale for such a good price, plus I could redeem points for them, uh, I definitely wanted to get some. We have been sorely lacking in treats. Anyways, I think this is pretty darn good for a total of $8.82. Woo! 
If you are looking to make a charcuterie board, just look at the prices if you get it cut yourself and you like just cooked salami, two forty nine for 100 grams. Pepperoni, $1.35, 100 grams. Maybe you want some of the specialty stuff. $3.99. Old Forest Salami or Spicy Hungarian. $3.69 for the PC brand. And then when you take a look at the prices of the packaged meat, here is pre-sliced. So the same stuff we just looked at, 100 grams, but it's $7.99. $7.99. Lunch today is a noodle packet, and I'll probably eat two of these three snacks, and I'll decide when I'm at work. Applesauce, orange, and a granola bar. Eating up some more steaks out of the freezer. These would have been a club pack that I bought, divvied up and, and froze two together. We are going to have loaded potatoes. Not baked potatoes, we just slice them up and we're going to um, do them on the barbecue. Corn. Very exciting. Steak, loaded potatoes, peppers, mushrooms and onions, and corn. Very uh, delicious looking and I can't wait to dig in. I'm making a different kind of smoothie today. We, in there is the orange juice as usual, the yogurt as usual, the frozen banana. And you can see that's what a defrosted frozen banana looks like. But I also have included peanut butter in this one because I'm, I'm wanting to use up this stuff right here, which I thought was open. I actually just opened this. I have had this for, ooh probably three or four years in the cupboard. So definitely um, in the interest of using up what I have in a pantry purge. Uh, so this is Cocoa Acai Smoothie Booster. And I've got the protein powder as well that I'm trying to use up, but I don't know if I need to use both. So we are gonna see what this is like. And I, I might try to add some uh, Swiss chard into it as well. I'm pretty skeptical of this. It was pretty thick. I had to add a little more water. Um, we'll see what it'll taste like. And I put a, a full scoop of that stuff in it. It was so, it had been in there for so long, uh, I had to really tap the little scooper to get the stuff out of it. Um, it was stuck in there. I do not know how I am going to use this up. This is 140 grams of this stuff. So if you have any ideas besides for what it's designed for as a smoothie booster, let me know. Tonight we are going to have breakfast sandwiches, eggs, toast, sausage for supper. We'll probably add cheese and whatever else we choose for garnishing. Breakfast sandwiches. This is another item out of the freezer. Uh, for gifts for Christmas, we got two uh, pies. These are quite large. This one is blueberry, so we are thawing it out. And we are gonna have it with some ice cream, I think. This looks so good. Just look at this. Oh yeah. I'm cutting into it now. I'm more excited about this pie than I realized. I caught myself dancing as I was getting the ice cream scoop out of the drawer. So that just shows, pretty excited about this. We don't eat a lot of ice cream. Um, I do have some issues with lactose, so this is probably not gonna be great, uh, but a little bit every once in a while um, is worth it to me. Anyways, maybe not to everybody. I couldn't resist these. When I was in there, the chicken was on sale for $1.99 a pound. $6.50 for this big pack was already a good price. And then they had them all marked down to 50% off. So $3.25 for this club pack of chicken. And the marshmallows were two packs for $5. 
They're the big 400 gram packs. I do still have marshmallows in the house, but what I also have in the house is a lot of Rice Krispies. So I thought that this was um, a good way for me to use up more of the supplies that we have in the house. Well, the chicken, I just lost my mind. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. The smoothie from yesterday was different. It wasn't terrible. It was okay. I, I do still want to use up this protein powder. I am looking to use up the cocoa acai um, frozen banana from the freezer. I am going to throw a little bit of strawberry freezer jam because we're actively trying to use that up as well um, and already in there I have some orange juice and yogurt. Okay we will see today how we like adding in the strawberries. I definitely prefer it with a little bit of added strawberry in there. Um, I added some water and I added the last of the Swiss chard as well so I don't have any more of that left. That's cleared of the freezer. We're clearing a pretty big item out of the freezer today. So it was a ham uh, that I got at Christmas time, I believe. Uh, we are going to put this in the slow cooker and cook this up for supper tonight. One time I thought I was buying honey mustard and I was getting an amazing buy on it. And what I actually bought was Dijon mustard, which uh, we don't really use. So I try to use it as ingredients and in things that I'm cooking. So this is going in the ham today. To go with the ham, I am going to make a small scallop potatoes. I was a little aggressive with the potatoes. I didn't, didn't need quite that many. We're gonna have carrots and parsnip probably mashed together. And this is homemade breadcrumbs um, that I have made. And I think I'm going to actually top the scalloped potatoes with the breadcrumbs. I, I've never done that. So I'm, I'm gonna think on that before I actually do it. I added the sauce as well as the breadcrumbs. I'm going to cover this with tin foil and then bake for 40 to 45 minutes and then uncover and bake for another 30 to 45. Here is our delicious looking ham dinner. So ham, scalloped potatoes, corn, peas, parsnip and carrot mashed and stovetop stuffing. This is building on the scene points hack that I used earlier this week. So earlier in the week, I purchased four chip dips, $2.99 each, which was a total of $11.96. I redeemed a thousand scene points to save $10. So I got the chips, chip dip for $1.96 and purchasing four chip dips, uh, you qualified for a thousand bonus scene points. So my scene points were replenished. It is approximately 48 hours later and I went back and I used the same hack with the same point because now my account is flush again. These Dole fruit cups were on two for $7. So buying four was $14. I redeemed the thousand same points that was re-added to my account this morning to save $10. So I got the four fruit cups for $4 and I earned a thousand bonus points, which in about 48 hours will hit my account again. So $3 and 50 cents each. I earned a thousand scene points. I redeemed a thousand, which I already had, and I paid a total of four dollars. Very clever. And I'm using the same points over and over, I feel. I need to run an errand on my lunch today, so we are just back to some snacks for lunch. That's okay because we're gonna have a big supper tonight with leftover ham dinner. We have nut and cheese pack, canola bar, and an apple. Ham leftovers for tonight. This time we added a pickle. A little pie for dessert. I'm boiling the ham bone to get some broth. It's a good opportunity to make a soup. Get some lunches for the rest of the week. I'm getting down to the nitty-gritty even of my root vegetables. Uh, so I added into here four small potatoes three carrots and that was all the carrots I had left. I don't know if you can see here there are 
split peas, barley. I added some beans out of the freezer that I had from the garden. Um, these are dehydrated green tomatoes. I added some of those in. I'm just trying to think what else, an onion. Um, I had a couple cherry tomatoes left. I threw those in. That's it. The soup turned out nice and hearty. I'm excited to have this for lunch today. Soup today for lunch and my first day with my little fruit snack cup that I did my clever redemption on. Today is Valentine's Day and uh, some of my wonderful colleagues made some sweets and I'm gonna share a little picture of them after. For anybody that's been following a while, last year for Valentine's Day, we did a huge charcuterie board. I saved money out of my weekly budget and I had $60 to spend on the charcuterie board and it was massive, tons of food. We ate off of it two different times and we learned that we like charcuterie boards. So this time, because we're doing a no spend, we didn't have the big budget. So I redeemed um, for these free meats, crackers, um, that's all we have left of the red pepper jelly those we had here. I got them marked down, I think, 50 cents back in the fall. We have an orange. We have grapes. We have the snap peas. Not shown in the video, I did go back and redeem flash fuel coupons for some lactose-free cheddar cheese. I have leftover of the borson. We have pickles olives green and black now we had the green olives and i didn't think we had any black so i redeemed flash fuel flash fast fuel i'm tongue-tied tonight fast fuel coupons to get black olives and when i brought them home we had a, a can already in the cupboard that was annoying and then we have some veggies here some mushrooms and peppers we are going to organize it on this tray so out of pocket um, was actually no money. All of these things were either in with the um, groceries that I already got this week that I redeemed um, points for. So no, no money spent. And we decided, because we didn't have tons of things, uh, we dug around in the freezer uh, looking for wings. So we are also having some lemon pepper wings with our charcuterie board. I think that'll be fine. And the air fryer's beeping at me. It wants me to close the door. All right, here we go. This is everything. Lemon pepper wings. And then the charcuterie tray. And for anybody who doesn't know or wants to know, um, to get those like that in the little rosettes or the little flowers, you just fold them in half, fold them in half again, so they're a triangle, and then you lay them in your hand like they're a deck of cards, like how you would hold cards. And then you put another layer on top and then you just set them on there. So let's take a little bit of a better look at this, better view as I turn it. Looks pretty good. So many treasures. And I made a dip. It's urban garlic uh, for the veggies. And that is all we have left of our red pepper jelly. Looking forward to this. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm going to make some chocolate mud pie cheesecake. Some special little treats. The first part of the instructions said to mix a cup of graham cracker crumbs with a quarter of a cup of melted butter. And pat them into... The silicone muffin molds. Um, I feel like that was a lot. I probably could have done half of that amount with a thinner graham crust. The next stage was to mix the package mix with a uh, one package of softened cream cheese. <laughs> Thank you. 
Add two eggs and mix again. One cup of Greek yogurt. Uh, it's supposed to be vanilla. I don't have vanilla and I didn't have quite a cup. Now my yogurt is all gone. So we'll just use what we had. It was almost, almost enough. Already I am skeptical about this recipe. Uh, it, it called to put two tablespoons of the mixture in each of the muffin forms, which I did, uh, but then there was all of this left over. So I am hoping this turns out. I've never made it uh, before. I've seen the recipe and the pictures a few different times and it always looks so good that I, I want to make it. So we'll give this a try. I think I might top these with a few special chips. They're supposed to fully cool before I remove them. Here they are. Little chocolate mud pie cheesecakes. Here's a close-up. They turned out pretty good. Ham soup for lunch today. It's very hearty. I'm looking forward to this. Yep, four more dollars spent. I did it again. When the second time that I redeemed the points for fruit cups, I earned the thousand bonus points that hit my scene account again today. So I went back and got another four, four packages. Uh, this time I got mandarin oranges and pineapple as well as some fruit salad. Uh, I just was kind of thinking, especially for the pineapple, there's often times where we want a little pineapple on pizza or as a garnish, but we don't want to open up a whole can, nor do we want to buy an entire pineapple. Actually, in hindsight, I probably should have got two of those because each cup at 25 cents a cup um, is the perfect amount for a little garnish. Anyways, uh, I used those same thousand points. So I started with the thousand points and I redeemed them uh, towards the chip dip and got the bonus points back. And then I redeemed those bonus points for the fruit cups and I got those points back. And then I redeemed them for these fruit cups and in another 48 hours or so, I will get those thousand points back um, for the third time and I will be just as even for points as I was when I started this whole endeavor. Pretty clever hack. We are making a recipe that we made a couple times uh, last summer. Pizza stuffed chicken breasts. You can tell here that I was thawing these and they started to cook so I had to stop. We had some pepperoni in the freezer. We have a pasta sauce that's left over. So you butterfly the chicken breast, you stuff them with garlic and pepperoni, and then you cover them with the sauce and cheese and you bake them. It's been quite a long time since I made this. So you can see the chicken is in here, we butterflied it. Inside is sauce, garlic, pepperoni and I also used the last of the mushrooms and the yellow peppers from the charcuterie board last night also cheese inside and then the rest of the sauce on top then more cheese then the pepperoni just kind of like a pizza and then I topped it with these green onions okay this looks this looks good I'm really greasy and I'm really surprised but I guess that would be the cheese and the pepperoni This looks pretty good. I have I have high hopes for this. Today for lunch, ham soup and a fruit cup. Look how crystallized these are. Definitely good to get them out of the freezer now um, before they get even worse than this. I'm also cooking up a the remnants of a bag of french fries and we are cooking some sausages that we had in the freezer so clearing three more things out of the freezer so we have some sausages and those were cheddar smokies we have some broccoli and i did my little trick that i like to do i put a cheese slice in there um, and then put the lid back on so the cheese slice will melt and that will be a little bit of cheese sauce and we have some fries and we'll put it all together 
Okay, we have sausages, broccoli, and fries. We had a little bit of grated cheese and some green onions left over from the chicken dish that we made last night. So spur of the moment, we just topped them with that and threw a few little bacon bits on top. Leftover Valentine's Day cheesecakes for dessert. The handsome one thought it would be a good idea to give each one of these a little shot of whipped cream. They look fancy. Um, I'm excited to, to eat. Now that the week is done, you can see that I spent a little bit more than what I had initially planned. So I got the groceries, then I did the chip dip redemption, then I got the marshmallows and the chicken, and then I did the fruit cup redemption, and then I did a second fruit cup redemption. Sometimes when the deals are really good, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I was on a low spend, even though I still didn't spend that much money. I, I really wanted to make the purchase of those fruit cups because... That price won't come around anytime soon. Um, that was a great deal, and I'm really happy that I was able to take advantage of it. So anyways, $27.13. Um, we did fantastic in this pantry purge. Uh, I'm happy moving forward that we're going to have a little more flexibility to buy groceries in our budget. Um, and stay tuned for more awesome videos to come from me.